When Batman fights Reverse Flash for one minute straight, now we see that Batman is in the Batcave investigating the weird smiley face and when he throws the smiley face near the mysterious mask, suddenly a radiation comes out of it, disbalancing the Batman and making him fall and when he looks up, he sees his father in a bat costume, telling him Bruce. When Batman is reaching his father's hand to get up, we see that his father disappears and he talks to Flash, telling him that the bloody button we found in the cave after Wally appeared, he was investigating it, but it had some sort of reaction to Psycho Pirate's mask, with Flash telling him that he has got his hands full with some kind of a samurai invasion thing, so he should wait for him until he's free so they both can investigate it together. But Batman tells him that the radiation he found on the button seems to have spiked, appeared as if it ripped a hole in the speed force, and he saw there was something wrong at the bottom of the hole, with Flash telling him that well, he's occupied by these things, there are 37 of these things coming at a time, it would take him time, so he would be there in a minute. And Batman assures Flash, but we see that there is some type of radiation behind Batman, and Batman is confused that didn't Barry told him that he would be in a minute, because of all the people, he doesn't expect Flash to be early, with the radiation telling him that he's not Flash, but quite the reverse of it. And we see reverse Flash punching Batman and making him fall to the ground. And we see blood pouring out of Batman's mouth with Reverse Flash standing behind him telling him that his name is Hubert Twain and that he has been dead for some time and he should be dead for some time more but a power, it woke him, it called out for him and he was resurrected. In the meantime we can see Batman trying to get a hold of the Reverse Flash and taking him by a surprise but when Batman tries to catch Reverse Flash, the Reverse Flash uses his powers and gets behind Batman telling him that does he wants to fight more and now we see reverse flash goes ballistic and he throws four punches in one second and he doesn't show any mercy on batman and all of the punches are delivered to batman's face pouring out blood from every punch and we see that he has delivered 12 punches in a span of only two seconds the scene shifts and we see reverse flash is astonished that how can batman a mere human survive those punches and still be alive and now for the fun part he drags batman Batman at a super speed and throws him around in his bat cave with Batman just mumbling something and we see that Reverse Flash has found the letter of Thomas Wayne to Bruce Wayne. With Reverse Flash saying that, oh Thomas, is this what you did after you killed me before you died with your word? A message sent across time, a letter to your dead son. Well, I am not the hero of this story. Was it consoling Thomas knowing he would have it? That though he lost you, he could always see you loved him. Did that make you feel better Thomas? as you burned. And with that, we see Reverse Flash tearing the letter apart and we see Batman has just had enough of it because it was the only letter and the only reminder that his father loved him after the death of Thomas Wayne and it was so important to him because it was sent across time and it showed how much he loved his son Bruce Wayne. And we see Reverse Flash throwing the other remaining parts of the letter into the air with Batman telling him that he should get out of his cave and the Reverse Flash mocks him telling him that what is he gonna do, he's just a baby bat and he should remember that when he's blur, no one can see him. With Batman telling him that that's true, but what else is true, that when he's blur, he can't stand steady unless something solid touching the ground. With the reverse flash still trying to compute this, we see Batman nailing the bat ring into the foot of the reverse flash with reverse flash in a great pain. Then we see Batman punches the reverse flash as fast as he can, but not as fast as the reverse flash because he was throwing four punches in one second but Batman does do some damage to the reverse flash and quickly reverse flash uses his move and throws Batman into the screen crashing. We see reverse flash removing his foot from the bat ring as it has caused him a lot of damage and now he can't run as fast as he was few minutes ago with Batman still telling him that he should get out of his cave and reverse flash again mocks him telling him that you have to know you can't win with Batman telling him that he knows but but he doesn't need to win, he just needs 11 seconds. And we see Reverse Flash charging towards Batman with a thought that he would knock Batman down this time again, but this time Batman dodges the punch and he punches the Reverse Flash instead. But due to the powers of Reverse Flash, he can't feel the punch of Batman and he delivers a powerful blow to the mouth of Batman, with making him fall to the ground again. But this time Batman is also prepared and he delivers some punches to the Reverse Flash and both of them now go toe to toe with 
with each other and deliver powerful punches to each other but but the reverse flash has a slight edge over batman and finally reverse flash gets a hold of batman delivering powerful punches again and again knocking down the batman and we see reverse flash grabbing batman by the collar picking him up but this time batman is smiling and telling the reverse flash that he has made the reverse flash stay for more than one minute and that the flash will be coming any minute now and this makes the red flash much angrier and he punches batman with all his might knocking him down to the ground with batman aside now we see that the reverse flash also goes in front of the screen and is intrigued by the mystery of the yellow smiley face but suddenly an explosion takes place and we see that the reverse flash is burnt and the last words coming out of his mouth are god i saw god and we see that the flash has also arrived at the scene telling bruce that sorry i had to stop at the blades game to see if i could save taylor but i guess he died on the ice from the last blow i was just too late and we see flash coming to the scene where batman is severely injured and the reverse flash is burned and dead and this is how the story ends i personally like the part where you can see that the reverse flash is much powerful than batman but batman still doesn't lose hope and delivers some powerful punches to reverse flash in spite of being a human he did put a really good fight what do you think about it please do let me know in the comments below and if you're new to the channel please do like share and subscribe it really helps us a lot to grow and you can watch here the biggest crossover between marvel and dc universe and how ekman lost his v car and what happens when shazam cyborg and green lantern takes on the superman thank you